the three things that a pitch really needs to tell an editor is what the issue is, how that issue is relevant to that editor's audience, and how you as a journalist are going to tell the story. What voices are we going to hear from? How are you going to answer the question that you've set? And that's where a lot of freelancers uh, fall short with their pitches. Uh, we received many, many pitches which would be things like, why is it that so many people are risking their lives to cross the Mediterranean? Obviously, for any newspaper in Europe, that's a big question. But just posing the question doesn't convince an editor that you as a journalist can provide an answer. So what you have to do is tell them who you're going to interview, tell them uh, how you're going to build a narrative from that that explains to the audience what the problem is and how it works. A good example might be, you know, Samia, uh, a graduate from Damascus, is getting up tomorrow to leave her hotel and cross the border into Libya where she will get on a boat and travel with her six-year-old daughter to Italy or potentially lose her life. I want to interview her and the people traveling with her to find out why they think that risk is worth it and also talk to people who've decided to stay. You know, that sort of story is a finished product. It's something that an editor can see and say, you are the right person to tell this story to an audience and to communicate the issues. Most editors know what the issues are, so you, your focus in a pitch needs to be on the finished product, which is the story, the narrative.